Hey, hi there, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly Psychic Tarot card prediction for September 2020. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. This is a general reading. I'd like to thank you guys for supporting my channel. It keeps me able to provide you with these readings for free. And there is a free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom of the description box below, and it can help you out with these kind of readings. And now for your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Eight of Swords, Scorpio. This is air energy. Now this is a card that has to do with your state of mind. This is Jupiter in Gemini. This is being bound. Could be you're not seeing something and it may be right in front of you. These are mind force manacle, manacles, prisons of doubts. It's bondage. It's a temporary durance and restriction. These can be limiting beliefs. It's fear to move out of a situation and be in your own worst enemy because it's you that can change matters. This is a bad situation that's temporary and you're feeling trapped. Choosing courage to think in a new way and cast off bonds and obligations. And in this situation at hand, unless you change your behavior, you're not going to get any further. Maybe you're fearful of moving out of a situation that's binding. Although these restrictions are self-imposed, because of fear and indecision, a sign is coming to show the way. There are problems to overcome and decisions to make, but you will not remain stuck. There is a solution to every problem. This is feeling bound by circumstances, but not really being confined, only thinking that way, and that thinking makes it so. Remember that real freedom comes from inside your own spirit. This is being confused about what to do, afraid to make the wrong decisions, being lonely, but only having yourself to blame. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. Number seven of wands. This is the card of the lion heart. Mars in Leo. Victory through courage. Success against opposition. It's reaching a new level. And now the shoe is on the other foot. This is the card of the nonconformist. It's the completion of a phase. It's being on top and wanting to stay that way. There's deep purpose and valor. Facing tests and beating all, down all problems. This is being ready to face challenges, and you will stand your ground and fight for what you believe in, and your determination will overcome all obstacles. The Eight of Swords with the Seven of Wands is not letting restrictive thoughts get in your way. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. The Knight of Pentacles, Scorpio. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. Knights are always in movement and action. Now this movement is slow and steady. He's the slowest knight, but he's still in movement. Could be bringing you a message, some good news. They're on a mission. This is a communication, the coming or going of a matter. This is being poised on the edge of adventure or travel. This person is stable and dedicated. They're responsible and predictable and determined, and they do their job. This is working towards a goal, offering assistance. It's a midway point in taking initiative. By working steadily on things that need to get done, we develop experience and self-possession. This is someone that makes good use of their time and it's having the capabilities with it we need to solve problems. You might hear this knight say, time is money. He thinks before he asks, and he measures tangible results. The Eight of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles is slow to react, stuck in a routine, could be applying for other jobs. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. 
It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The King of Pentacles, Scorpio. More Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Now, this king could be a male or a female. They've mastered the element of Earth. This is someone that's secure. They're slow moving. They're noble and sophisticated. This can represent something tangible as completing. It's the fulfillment of desi the desires and the power to manifest. This is attracting wealth, enjoying retirement, could be given to charity, indulging in the finer things of life. It's maintaining a profitable business. If you have any current struggles, they're going to end up benefiting you. There could be a person steps in to take the lead. This could be a father or a boss or a benefactor. They, uh, they're very clever in business matters, like a financial wizard. The Eight of Swords of the King of Pentacles represents restrictions with money. It's stubbornness, stuck in your ways. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this, Scorpio. The Nine of Pentacles, really good card. Now this is a card of independence from financial concerns. It's luxury, self-sufficiency, self-reliance, discipline. This is Virgo energies. This is being alone in your comfort area. It's having your luxuries around you. Quality is important. This is her stuff. It's inherited or earned. It's harnessing self-discipline. But the pressure is off for now, and you'll be taking it easy and taking your time. You could even be on a holiday. It's taking a break to enjoy life and to smell the roses, and now you have the freedom to be yourself. Maybe it's better than you expected. It's living an ordered life and not having to work so hard. This could also be a time of self-reliance for taking charge of your own future. Or you may be craving more independence. The Eight of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles represents materialism, entrap entrapment, self-victimization, and it's being bound by not seeing the way to benefit. The Seven of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles is being an all-arounder at work. It could be making a deal in the mutual interest of all the people. The Seven of Wands with the King of Pentacles is protecting your business. The Seven of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles is despite opposition, you have balance. This can represent a confident leader, a teacher, a speaker. The Knight of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles is advancement. It's promotion, a higher position. It's good advice over finances. It's a successful formula, and it's moving on up. The Knight of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles is a successful career change. This is a better lifestyle. The King of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles represents security, being able to afford the finer things in life. Your vice versa tarot card from the deck by Lunia Weatherstone. Number two of the Major Arcana, the High Priestess. This can be a Pisces. Number two. The High Priestess, this side. The High Priestess sits on her temple throne, flanked by two pillars, one black and one white. The marble floor has a black and white illusionary pattern that seems to move and change, depending on your perspective. The Priestess's simple white robe is blazoned with an equal armed solar cross. All of these represent a balance of light and dark, positive and negative, with the High Priestess at the center of understanding. She points to the sacred book of knowledge in her lap, inviting the seeker to approach and learn, but not everything will be revealed. Half of her throne is veiled, concealing one of the Finx's carvings. The throne itself blocks a portal that leads to the inner temple. The initiate must prove worthiness for being, before being admitted. When you get this sign in a reading, 
True wisdom can only be found within. Established religions have their place, but when the high priestess appears, trust your own guidance. This card indicates a time for silence, as with the magician card. The intent here is not to focus your mind, but to open your spirit. Seek peace and stillness in which to hear the inner voice and the voice of your deity. When you are ready to know more, the veil will be lifted. Thanks, you guys, Scorpio. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. I hope you can feel it. Thanks for watching.